right, this isn't crash landing on you. Sorry, but this video will take you to different cities of Switzerland. And if you are planning for your trip to Switzerland, this vlog will be a great guide to finding breathtaking sceneries, food, transportation, shopping tips, and tax refund information. So let's go. And now we are finally flying into Switzerland and here's our plan for the next two weeks. We rented a car to drive down south from Zurich to Lucerne to the Interlaken area and then finally to Geneva to explore the smaller towns of Switzerland. We'll take the train to Lyon which is at the border of France and then we will take the train back up north to Bern and Zurich to experience the train riding experience. My first stop in Zurich is to meet up with my friend Francesca for a swim in Lake Zurich. Alright, me and Francesca, we are going to the lake for a swim and then um, Andrew and I are going to swim. As you can see, she's wearing a dress and I'm wearing a sweater with a button down because that's what all I packed for this trip. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not sure if we captured that, did we? Oh, we did! <laughs> there was that guy. So now we are walking in the green. And uh, yeah, so uh, just a bit about me and Francesca. She is my uh, roommate when I study abroad in Taiwan and she is doing her PhD in Chinese literature. The waterfront park that we are heading to is Jericon. It is a popular spot for swimming, tanning, and other activities. There is also a Chinese garden nearby. Switzerland's water is known to be one of the cleanest in the world. Residents often drink directly from the fountains. This lake swimming experience was very memorable, and hey, it's free! After swimming, we headed to Industry Quartier to explore the edgy and hipster part of Zurich. This area hosts many cool bars and restaurants with no concepts, such as Urban Surf. This is a serving platform that also serves food and beverages on site. We met up with Betty, another friend I have known from Taiwan, at Fra Jurel's Garden, a laid-back beer garden popular among the locals here. Oh, because there's like ice cream shop, uh -huh. there's a bar here, uh -huh. there's a clothes shop, and then there you have food, and then you can sit basically everywhere. We started our day with some morning tea next to Lake Zurich. Many famous landmarks are only minutes away from here. Fun fact, the swans on the lake feed on the seaweeds in the bottom of the lake and they duck their long necks into the water. Baby ducks would swim to the bottom to eat the seaweed. Little do we know, most businesses are closed on Sundays here. So tip number one, never plan on shopping on a Sunday in Switzerland. But more about shopping in the part two vlog. Stay tuned because we are going to show you important tax refund information. One of my favorite meals in Zurich was at a Chinese restaurant named Rising Sun. 
The food was very delicious. Even a simple pancake has left an impression on me. I will come back to Zurich for this meal again. On our way to the next destination, Luzon was along the way so we decided to stop by quickly and wow, Luzon is quite the place to visit. Luzon,就是卢塞恩 Alright, after a good amount of exploring in big cities, we are ready for the beautiful sceneries of the smaller Swiss towns. Our Airbnb costs about 400 USD per night for two rooms and four beds. It is great for traveling groups and families. And why we picked this Airbnb? It is because of this amazing view. On the southern shore of Lake Brienz is a small village named Isaweld. It is famous to crush landing on you fans as one of the filming locations where Captain Wee plays the piano on the dock. FYI, the piano was just a prop. It's not actually here on the real dock. But the spot itself is popular enough to attract lines of fans taking pictures here. Fun fact, Switzerland has four official languages, French, Italian, Romanche, and German. So we are having German cuisine for tonight. Would you look at that? This giant pork leg is the size of my hand. And this pork rib here has got to be the best I have ever had. It's surprisingly juicy and tender, full of flavors, and it goes perfectly with a chug of beers. If you are ever in the Interlaken area, this is the restaurant to go. Liquor! to all my crush landing on you fans out there we've made it to sick world for those of you who are not familiar with this korean drama it is has made quite an impact because we've met so many fans who came here because of the drama. 
This iconic cigarette bridge is a pedestrian suspension bridge built over a deep gorge with sweeping views of the Alps and Lake Thun. The ticket for one adult is 8 Swiss francs and 4 Swiss francs for a minor. To me, the bridge was very sturdy and walking over it wasn't too scary, but be careful when you look down because it can be quite intimidating. It seems like Swiss people here like to take every opportunity there is to surf because they aren't near an ocean. And I have the best pizza here at Del Padre. Please don't hate me guys, but I am not the biggest pizza fan out there. And yet, I had three slices that night. It was just that good. I never had more than two slices of pizza in my life. We are going to end here for part one of the Swiss vlog. On part two, we will be traveling to Geneva, Lyon, and Bern with a focus on shopping guides and tax refund information that we have gathered. Make sure to subscribe for more.